This home that we're about to walk has tall ceilings, a big game room upstairs, and an amazing view from these windows in the living room. If you like homes that back up to lakes, then stick around for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Zahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. Today, we're going through the Wichita plan with Coventry Homes. This home is for sale at $824,000. It has five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, is just over 3,700 square feet, and does have a three-car tandem garage. Now, as soon as you walk in the front door, it is open to the second story. I will show you that later in the video, but first, I had to walk right out to this main living area because this is what I think really draws buyers' attention to these types of plans. You have that wide open kitchen, breakfast nook in the back, and then this living room that is open to the second story. Absolutely fantastic. Now we are gonna start in the kitchen and go room by room in detail. And then later on in the video, I'll take my drone up in the air and show you Lake Georgetown, which is behind this home. It's beautiful and I'll give you a taste of what lakeside living is like. Starting off in the kitchen, I like the contrast that they have here where they kept the backsplash and the countertops light and bright. They did a darker gray on the cabinets. We do also have a five burner gas stove with an under cabinet vent hood. And then behind me, we'll see a single basin apron sink. And while we go through the rest of this kitchen and I'll show you the pantry next, I do wanna tell you two things. First off, from a design standpoint, this is what you typically see from builders when they're doing these inventory homes, which is what we're walking right now. Meaning they build the home, they pick all the design and structural upgrades, and then they sell it on the open market. So from a design standpoint, they don't wanna to take too much risk putting in unique colors into the home. And that's why you'll see a lot of neutral colors, a lot of whites and grays throughout this specific home. And Coventry will break up that design, do some fun things like in the primary bathroom, which we'll see later. They did this great accent wall in the walk-in shower, which I think you'll really like. But if you don't like the color pattern here, rest assured you can take this plan that we're walking called the Wichita plan and build it from scratch in so many different communities. And that's the beauty of new construction. If you don't like what you see, then find a great lot and have this builder build this same plan on that lot. Moving on, we are in the breakfast nook area. I love the amount of windows that are in here. And I am calling this a breakfast nook because prior to this, we saw the pantry and some cabinetry across from that pantry. If we went through there, that would be a dining room on that side. So we will also get to that later on in the video, but I just have to head outside and show you this back patio that looks out to this greenery. Now, like I mentioned before, we are in a community called Lakeside at Lake Georgetown. This area is known for a lot of things. You have lots of golf courses around here. You have Cimarron Golf Course, Berry Creek, Cohen Creek. You also have parks that are close by that you can do camping in. And then of course, this is known for the lake and lakeside living. So if you're into boating, just hanging out on a lake that's very calm, doing some fishing, then definitely stay till the end of the video where I take my drone up in the air and I'll actually follow a boat as it goes through Lake Georgetown and you'll get a good glimpse of what it's like to live in this area. Now we are also in one of the fastest growing suburbs in America, which is called Georgetown, Texas. It's a suburb north of Austin, Texas. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video. Getting back into the home, I love what they did here in the living room where you have this fireplace tile that follows the stairwell all the way up to the top of the ceiling. And then you already have electrical in here to hang a TV. You have all these windows that we saw off the back wall that look out to greenery. And this is why the living room is one of my most favorite rooms in this home because it opens up so well due to everything that I just described. Windows make a difference, tall ceilings make a difference, and that tile design in the fireplace makes a big difference. Moving on, we're in the primary bedroom. I love that they have a tray ceiling which opens up this space and then we're gonna keep coming back to windows. I think Coventry does this really well. Notice the three transom windows on the left wall, perfect area to put your bed. And then imagine you just open up the curtains in the morning and this is what you're looking out to. So beautiful. And I will also say, if you do build this plan from scratch, look into different structural upgrades that are offered by Coventry. When my clients built this plan from scratch, which they just closed a few months ago, they did a bay window on that wall in the primary bedroom. It added a couple windows and it also provided a curve in that wall, giving a little bit more space and square footage in that primary bedroom. They also backed up to a green belt, which looked fantastic. And if you want to walk through of their home or this plan as a model home that's fully staged, 
I'll post links to both videos in the description of this video, but stick with me. I think there's still a lot to see here in this home, like this freestanding tub. I like how they fit two windows here in the bathroom, providing a lot of natural light. And then they just put a slope in the ceiling to just give you a little bit more room here. Now that light fixture probably could have been raised a little bit more, but that's something you could always ask the builder to adjust when you're buying something like this. They won't make changes on a lot of these inventory homes, but adjusting the height of a light fixture, I don't think is that big of a deal. And then earlier I was telling you about an accent wall on the walk-in shower. Take a look at this. I thought this was fantastic where they have, again, a lot of whites and grays in the tile, some movement in that tile. Uh, they also did a shampoo niche that matches the flooring tile that also has some whites and grays. And then take a look at this view from inside the walk-in shower. And this is why I think ceiling height makes such a big difference. Just a simple slope in the ceiling makes this space feel so much more open. And that's why I walk these homes. That's why I'll continue to walk these homes and post videos online. Because when you're talking with a builder and you see a 2D floor plan, it just doesn't show ceiling height and windows and doesn't give you that feeling that a lot of buyers are looking for when walking these homes where it just feels big, it feels light and bright. That's exactly the feeling that my buyers got when they walked home homes and this is over a year ago now where we walked so many different floor plans and they fell in love with this floor plan because of a lot of the things that we're describing in here now there were also some things that my buyers loved about this plan that we're not seeing in this inventory home and i do want to call those out while we head over to the dining room and there's still a lot to see here even on the first story we have a second bedroom down we have a study downstairs and then upstairs wait until you see that game room media room but looking out at this patio for my buyers they did an extended patio and they got a very large ceiling height don't quote me on this, but I think it was around 18 foot tall ceilings. And that made such a big difference in that backyard patio. And that's what they loved about this plan. Now, keep in mind that was in a different community and these plans in different communities are sometimes built in different ways. But for this specific home, they did not do the extended patio. And I think it's because they would have made, it would have made the yard feel so much smaller. And if you're gonna be outdoors in this community, you have a lake, you have parks, you have golf courses, you have so many things to do. And so that's why I think they, this decided not to do that extended patio. Now we just saw the dining room, which also had some great windows in it. This is just gonna be storage underneath the stairwell. I like that it goes all the way around in there to get you as much storage as possible. It goes underneath the stairs. And I'm finding myself talk about storage more and more often with a lot of buyers that are moving here from out of state, especially the buyers that are living up north where they have these big basements up north and you just don't have those here in Texas for the most part. So they always ask about storage and I think builders are getting better and better at finding unique ways to fit storage into their homes. Now on this side of the home, we have a utility room. We have a full bathroom, which we're gonna take a look at. And then behind me is the second bedroom downstairs. In this full bathroom, I like that they did a walk-in shower here. I like the movement in the tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And I think for your second bedroom downstairs, it's becoming a must have to have a walk-in shower. Just because for a lot of buyers that are looking to buy these homes, have parents stay with them in the second bedroom downstairs, I think it's really important to them that this is a walk-in shower rather than a bathtub. Now we will get to that second bedroom downstairs in a second. This is gonna be a look at the utility room. You'd have a washer and dryer on this side. And if you are looking to build this plan from scratch in some of their communities, they're currently offering a workout room. It would change a little bit of the orientation of the bathroom that we just saw, and it would make that utility room smaller. It would also take out this mud bench that's right outside the garage door entrance. Now, even though these things are taken away, you do get that workout room, which you could put like a treadmill in there, like a weight bench or anything that you want. And then you still get this three car tandem garage space. Now, keep in mind, these upgrades do change over time. So if you are watching this in the future, which everybody is, you should be double checking these things and you should be working with a great realtor that knows these builders inside and out. Right now, I think Coventry is offering some great structural upgrade options. In one of their other plans that I have a client that's under contract on, they're currently offering a workout room that takes out the tandem garage space. But if you have enough room on your lot, you can add a third car garage bay. And while we're in the second bedroom downstairs, which has some good windows off the front of the home here, I do want to mention at this square footage,
footage, I would highly recommend having a three car garage. Even if you don't need the third car, it's great for resale in my opinion, because for a lot of buyers that are moving here, we just talked about it earlier, they need storage. And I think when they're looking at homes, especially the older homes that are even just three to eight years old, they have a lot of two car garages. And when they look at new construction, they tend to want to wait and build these homes from scratch because they can change around the plan structurally through these various options that I'm talking about. And when you can take all these options that builders have and pick all the ones that you really want, it makes it so worth it. And that's why I find a lot of buyers, if they can't find what they're looking for as an inventory home like this, they tend to build from scratch and get a lot more of what they want. And that's why I tell all my buyers, you'll compromise so much less when you build from scratch. It'll be a lot more work, more work for you, more work for me, but working through it together, I think is well worth it to get what you want. Speaking of getting what you want, this is going to be a study. I love the windows in here. Perfect to put a desk right in the center of the room where you'd have windows off your left shoulder. You'd have windows behind you. In front of you, you have those doors with a glass insert. I like how they stain the wood around those glass inserts. Just provides a little bit of contrast in this room. I think this study is a great place to work from home or if you're in a hybrid model, you just need to work from time to time. Great place to do it. It is at the front entrance of the home. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, we are open to the second story as soon as you walk in through that front door or out of your study. Now we've been talking about it a lot. Let's head upstairs. I wanna show you that view again from the trends of windows, show you the game room, the media room. And there are also three bedrooms upstairs. So we have two bedrooms down, three bedrooms up. And at the time of this recording, that is the standard, meaning you don't have to upgrade to get an extra bedroom. The only upgrade option that they have up here that adds square footage to the plan is adding that media room. And I have to say that is unique when looking at so many different builders. A lot of builders, they have room up here to add square footage. So you either have an option to add a fifth bedroom and bathroom or add the media room but very rarely can you do both, especially around this price point with similar new construction homes. But I like in this plan, you can currently get both. And I keep saying currently because again, these things can change over time. So definitely double check everything that I'm saying. We are in the game room, which as you can tell, has a lot of great space. Again, I know you're looking at an empty home, but by the end of this video, if you wanna see this plan staged, I will post the model home walkthrough of this exact same plan in the description of this video. When I say exact same plan, again, there are some different structural upgrades that could be slightly different, but I think you'll still get a good flow of the space seeing it staged, especially in this media room. So notice that they have an outlet up there to hang a TV. You also have white caps on the ceilings and white caps even on the walls behind me. That's usually there for pre-wiring for speakers that you can tie in after you close on the home. And then I like that there were no windows in that media room. So you could just put a couch up against the wall, get lots of sitting room in there, and it's perfect for watching movies or just watching TV. You also have this open stairwell railing, which for a lot of builders, it is an upgrade. So for some buyers, they want drywall here. I've heard some people say they don't want, you know, kids playing with toys and then dropping those toys off of the stairwell. And I do get that, but I think over time, you will probably want that stairwell open. It makes a big difference in how you feel in the space. And there's certainly something you could do aftermarket to prevent your kids from dropping in toys. <laughs> like I just put like a netting there temporarily or something. But I like in this home, they kept that very open. And then we do have three bedrooms upstairs. So this is one of the bedrooms that have some great windows that look off the front of the home. And then we also have a full bathroom right outside of this bedroom. And then we'll walk over to the other two bedrooms. And while we head over there, I do want to talk about this suburb that we're in, which is called Georgetown, Texas. Now I'm looking at Georgetown's website, which is georgetown.org. And in May of 2023, they said for the second year in a row, Georgetown out of all cities with a population above 50,000, they were the fastest growing city in the United States. That's for a second year in a row, which is pretty incredible. So when I talk about growth in this area, it's not hype. They are literally number one and they're number one for a reason. So you're going to see Lake Georgetown in a few minutes, which is beautiful. There's so many things to do in the outdoors. There are other neighborhoods that are in Georgetown that have topography, that have views, that have clients under contract in with various builders. And there's just so much opportunity here to enjoy the beauty that you're seeing out these trends and windows, but also get these beautiful homes that are very open concept and that are marketing to your current buyer. 
buyers that want two bedrooms downstairs with a study buyers that want open to the second story in the living room and open to the second story here when you first walk in the home and that's why i like walking these homes because i try to feature homes that i think current buyers really value and also in areas that they want to be in that have lots of things to do inside and outside of the community now keep in mind, I talked about the good parts of Georgetown, but like most suburbs, especially here in Texas where these suburbs are massive, there are good parts of the suburb and there are not so good parts. And so I don't want you to just say, well, oh, this suburb's great or this suburb is bad. These suburbs are huge and you really need to dive into the details of the pros and cons of these various areas because there can be some big differences even just within a suburb like here in Georgetown. Now that is a topic for another video. And while we go through this Jack and Jill full, full bathroom that's in between these two bedrooms, I wanted to cover what I think could be of most value to you when you're going through this home search process. And that's clarifying something I said earlier in the video, which is you shouldn't always use me as a realtor. And what I meant by that is I focus on a very specific niche of real estate. It tends to be a lot of new construction or newer types of homes. Uh, so just in the last two years, I've represented presented buyers with 19 different builders. And so I know the good and I know the bad. And that's what I try to point out to my buyers. There are pros and cons to everything, builders, communities, certain areas around the Austin Metro. And my goal is not to sell you on a particular area. My goal is to give you the pros and the cons and educate you so you can make a better decision. Now, beyond that, if you reach out to me and your criteria is a better fit for another realtor, I'll connect you with that realtor. Like for example, just yesterday, I had a buyer reach out to me and their area of interest were in different parts of Austin that I don't cater to as much, but I know there's another realtor that really focuses on those areas, also does a lot more pre-owned homes compared to new construction, so they're more balanced. I connected that buyer with that great realtor and they've already hit the ground running with their home search process and are very happy. So my contact information's in the description of this video. Feel free to reach out to me there. And before I let you go, you have to see this. Now, I told you I would take my drone up in the air and show you Lake Georgetown. It is so beautiful. And if you look around this area, you'll find there are few opportunities to build or buy new homes this close by to the lake. And the simple reason why is there are many parks that surround the lake. And so they protect those areas to prevent any more development, to keep and maintain the beauty that you're seeing here. And that's the greenery around the lake. You see some boats uh, going by in the lake where you can do fishing, you can do boating, you can do camping. There's so much to do around this area. And in fact, that bridge that's all the way out there in the distance, if you take that bridge to the left, that's where you get a grocery store and shopping that's close by. If you go right, you get into the heart of West Georgetown where you have uh, the shopping center in Wolf Ranch, you have the Round Rock Premium Outlets, and you can get south into Round Rock or Austin, Texas. Now, I did want to hear from you in the comments. What was your favorite part of this home? I have to say my favorite part was definitely that primary bathroom just because of the windows, the ceiling height, and that accent wall that they put in the walk-in shower. But let me know what you think in the comments. And then if you can't get enough of these walkthroughs and you want to see a home that does back up to water, then click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen and that will take you to a beautiful custom home walkthrough. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.